Jamie Warner, certified by weather rates for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, if you've been outside this evening, it is raining a little bit, especially on the west and south side of town where we've seen some light showers. Uh, but even here at Color 10 on the northeast side of town, uh, we are finding a, a little bit of light rain out there. Uh, skies are cloudy. Temperatures are mild out of the airport. It's under 70 here in town. It's still in the low 70s. Uh, we've got a front which has wobbled back east across the area. It's been wobbling around back and forth west to east, east to west here over the last couple of days, and that's generated some variation in temperatures and weather conditions here locally in Springfield. High today of 80 degrees. Meanwhile, off to the west of Joplin, only 67. So yes, still looking at two different seasons square on top of the Ozarks, and we're finding that at this hour, readings uh, quite a bit cooler to the west of Highway 65, currently 60 in Joplin, 59 in Clinton. Meanwhile, off to the east of that frontal boundary, it's still in the low to mid 70s, and there's that touch of humidity. Getting to radar right now, we do have uh, some shower activity, which is uh, lined up right along the Highway 65 corridor. That's where it's been the last several hours, and that's really one of those spots where we could use a lot more rain than we're seeing this evening, but we'll take what we can get. Um, looking at our uh, drought conditions here in southwest Missouri, they do continue, and we're still looking at severe drought conditions here across southern Greene County, northern Christian, and northern Stone Counties, where we have seen 30% of the normal rainfall that you should expect of the last 90 days. So very, very dry across a very small area. Areas right around where, we see, where I was showing you those drought conditions, uh, rainfall has been near to above normal. So this is a localized drought that we're finding here over southwest Missouri. But again, this evening we have some rain to talk about. We've got some rain impacting areas from Stockton Lake south across eastern Dade County uh, down into western Greene County. We've seen a little bit of light rain here in Springfield. My hope is that we'll be able to get a little bit more into town over the next several hours before these showers fade. We are certainly still finding showers down to the south, everything lifting generally to the north. Uh, see one heavy shower to the north of Harrison at this hour. Broader view of what's going on. Again, the big story is that front as it continues to wobble back and forth. It looks like by tomorrow afternoon, that front's going to be lined up east of Highway 65. That means areas to the west once again will be rather mild, while areas to the east, it's still going to feel a little bit like summertime. It'll be warm, it'll be humid. And it looks like areas between Highway 65 to about Highway 63 or near this frontal boundary will be a prime spot for some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity, mainly during the afternoon hours heading into the evening tomorrow night. So here's our hour by hour forecast. Again, showers will continue to lift from south to north, pretty close to Highway 65. This is midnight. It looks like after midnight that shower activity for the most part fades away and the rest of the night looks rather cloudy, but dry as well. And I think tomorrow morning we're looking at rather cloudy conditions but generally dry weather. It will be during the afternoon. You get a little daytime heating. You have that frontal boundary. There's some upper level energy moving in, and that should be enough to ignite some scattered showers and thunderstorms again, mainly between Highway 65 and Highway 63. And you can see how it continues into the evening hours tomorrow night. So keep that in mind. If you've got a Friday night football game you're planning on going to, maybe you're doing some grilling tomorrow evening on the patio. You might have to contend with some wet weather. Temperatures tonight will range from upper 50s up toward Osceola here in Springfield. I think we're going to make it down to 65, maybe 64 out of the airport in town, probably a degree or two warmer than that. Areas off to the east looking at mid to upper 60s for lows. And again, milder readings to the west tomorrow, warmer readings to the east. Here in Springfield, I think we top out in the upper 70s. There will still be a chance for additional rain overnight, Friday night into Saturday morning because with that frontal boundary in place and a low level jet developing tomorrow night, that should help to enhance that band of showers, maybe some thunder uh, stretching from northwest Arkansas up toward the Salem area. That band of showers and embedded thunder will continue to slowly shift east through the morning hours on Saturday with sunshine developing from west to east during the afternoon. Cold front that arrives Sunday morning. Can't rule out a spotty shower or thunderstorm along the front as it sweeps through. Looks like we'll see drier air building in by Sunday afternoon and temperatures not bad through the weekend into next week. I know it was a hot start to this week, but certainly it feels a lot more like fall out there, at least over western Missouri and areas off to the east will be able to say that as well once we get uh, into the weekend. Upper 70s on Friday looks like around 84 high on Saturday, Sunday low 80s near 80 for a high on Monday with morning lows in the upper 50s. I think we do that again on Tuesday. Next chance for showers 
Uh, after this weekend, uh, I think we'll develop from south to north. Uh, we'll see showers to the south Wednesday afternoon with a chance for showers area wide on Thursday. Temperatures looking nice, Jamie. A lot better, better than the mid 90s. Yeah, this past weekend, it was a hot one. I mean, we had one day in there where we hit 92. So mm -hmm. that looks a lot better, that seven day forecast that I just showed. Definitely a nice improvement. It mm -hmm. is. All right, Jamie, thank mm -hmm. you. Well, there's growing concern tonight in St. Louis.